Hey, we're Boiling Point. My name's Eric Bjorkland. I'm John Canfield. And uh, welcome to the Orange Couch, where we are just going to hang out for a little while with you and just re-watch the episode that aired last week, episode one of our new eight-part miniseries that's airing on YouTube on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Central. And we just thought it'd be fun to look uh, look back at where we were almost four years ago. I yeah, can't believe it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of crazy, mm-hmm. right? Totally. So let's, uh, let's get into let's, it. Here we go. Today is April 20th, 2017, and I'm heading back to a place I haven't been for three years. A place that, from my experience and reading about it, All right, so. <laughs> what's, hard, what's hard to realize is how hot <laughs> and humid it was out, even during the night. That's right. Because we left, civil war that you know, it was the, the middle, and middle of winter, more or less, here in Minnesota. And, like, people, you, you course, get on an airplane and it's freezing, and then <laughs> you get out in Sierra Leone. And, <laughs> like, what was your experience of that? I mean, you just, I mean, it's, it's, it's you're like stepping in a new world, you know, Sierra like, Leone, you know, everything here where we are in Minnesota and you go to a place like that, it just everything looks different, and it feels different, to see you know, them. and just there, the city, you know, where we're used to right, and seeing right. that place um, and just walking into that culture and, and that country is yeah. just so, such a, such an experience. And like you step off the plane, it's 88 degrees. Correct. And, yeah. and really humid. So my name's Eric Bjork, I'm the lead singer of Boiling Point. So it's crazy to watch this part here because, um, musician. I mean, I think this video that we two, took two walking around St. Paul and of my family was like a so, year after we had gone to Africa, you know, actually. This band is just kind of and the crazy of, thing about that is that it's like been three down. years since kind of we did this footage in St. Uh, Paul, and so but my, life, like my children are... <laughs> you're, they're, your kids are adults now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the kids are in college now. <laughs> no, but... Uh, really Oh, the, the little one, Drew, is like, you know, he's five years old and got so much time. like the most articulate child yeah, you'll, meet, totally. you'll meet. And, and in this video, so he's like just mm-hmm. tiny and, and adorable. And he had his first I, haircut I think, for that yeah. video. And he looked, <laughs> he looked really, looked really like weird. A little stud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we can spend it impacting the lives of yeah, others. Man, all these, just reminding kind of like all these value little that. places that we were able to go and see. These kids hanging out with us kind of every single day. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever want to feel faces. famous, go to <laughs> it's, Sierra it's Leone true. because yeah, they like, just want to hang out with you all yeah. day long, and they yeah. just want to hold yeah. your hands yeah. and yeah. walk around town yeah. and just like just be with you. And it's it's, more opportunity, more it's so much fun and to hang out with kids and then probably, um, probably 90% just play soccer and and do whatever yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. The value mm-hmm. of doing I think that uh, for us, you know, we've been stuck at home. I mean, for them, they're like, well, we're going outside every single day, whatever happens. So come out and play with us. Come out and hang with us. Right. Never have. The opportunity never have the resources. Yeah, it's uh, have the um, it's funny because like I've been actually telling the story of like how I invited you to Africa had. on yeah in, in a lot of the radio stuff really that I've been doing, and it's like mm-hmm. you know there's a moment in Pancheros, sure, which is yes. like a burrito place, yeah, <laughs> like Chipotle, and you're like working Education there. And I'm sitting across from you because, because like yeah. sometimes that was like the only way I could see you. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. And then like I felt like almost like God calling me to say, to to "Hey, you should invite John <laughs> to Africa." And then the next thing the I knew, journey, like I'm like, "Hey, John, you want to like do you want to go to Africa? Let's go. Let's go. Let's make uh, it happen. The band will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like <laughs> let's just figure out how to do it and uh, mm-hmm. do something that's totally insane. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's so sweet and so cool to be able to share and just tell people like, hey, this is what this place is. This is what who these people are. This is a cool place. Yeah. This is an amazing place. And I forget like that like that was your first plane trip. True. Right. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it really was. It wasn't just yeah. like, hey, let's go to Africa. Yeah. It was like, do you want to leave the United States? Yeah. Do you want to leave? Do you want to go to Europe? And then do you want to like? <laughs> Go to Africa, right? <laughs> like, All in in one day, yeah, no, <laughs> basically. As your first uh, significant uh, airplane experience. I mean, that's the way to do it, I guess. Yeah. If you're gonna go, go all out. Right on. Go big, go home. All right. Episode one is in the books. Mm-hmm. Episode two airs tomorrow. Tomorrow. Seven Central. Hope to see you there. God bless. Until next time, Eric and John. Boiling Take care, guys. Out. See. Ya. And cut. Hey, that was good.